Good evening, everyone, and welcome back to the next round. I think it's round eight of the RSF1 season, the second season. I am Primus Gaming, and joined of me once again is Element Snow, aka RSF1 Skadoosh. Hello, how are we? I'm very good, and you? I'm good, thank you, bud. Uh, can't wait for today's race. We've got some new drivers as well, so uh, that's going to be exciting. Exactly, we got uh, Andrew Alpha, who's taken full-time uh, seat in Red Bull Racing. Uh, also, uh, I think it's safe to say, uh, Element, that we have to say a uh, very big good luck to WR Stretch, who has been moved to the F3 division. Uh, I've, I've been commentating over uh, WR Stretch now for a good while and he is definitely a really humble and consistent driver so i'd like to wish uh, wr stretch all the best in his uh, the rest of his season following in f3 if you guys wish to cheer him on please tune in at thursday at 8 p.m to watch his race uh, for f3 but also, the um, oh go on go on no, it's, it's uh, also fine. tune in uh, sunday monday tuesday wednesday thursday as well just <laughs> to help everyone yeah. out <laughs> yeah there's not just the the f3 division there's there's the other four um <laughs> i'd also like to take this opportunity to uh you know because we, we have to wait until five past eight because we're just waiting on some drivers that are trying to arrive so we have a little bit of a talking time um understandably not just um, the FIA uh, and the other Formula One teams are frustrated with the cancellation of the Australian Grand Prix, but due to health and safety concerns, the season, uh, if you've not heard the news, the season has been delayed till May. So that means we will be not seeing the track likes of the tracks of Australia, Bahrain, Baku, uh, and also China. But China was already quite a bit you know, because it was pretty much the epicenter for the outbreak of COVID-19. Um, and I know I said it last week, and I'm going to say it again, we wish you and your family to all tuning in, uh, live and on YouTube, that we wish you all hope, uh, safety through uh, these rough times of the outbreak, as we are already aware, hundreds of thousands of people are infected, and a lot of people have died from the virus, so... We'd like to send our thoughts and prayers out to the victims of uh, the of COVID-19. It's mainly been people with underlying health issues and elderly. So we do uh, wish them all the best in the, and also the infected people. Uh, hopefully they get a swift and smooth recovery. Uh, but in the meantime, we are without F1, real life F1 for the next ham for the weeks to come. But luckily you've got RSF1 here. You've got me, you've got Skadoosh and the other lads. We will help fill in that time until that season can really kick in. But uh, yeah, uh, it's it's a bit of a shame we have to wait, but I can completely understand when it's for the public, uh, public safety. Mm, yeah, 100%. Um, I'm a bit sad because I was, I was ready to see um, Sainz get a P3, but it wasn't meant to be for this week, was it? But <laughs> at least we get to see... another day. Yeah, at least at least we get to see uh, um, Brundle and Schumacher go at it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we may not be able to see signs going in for a P3, but we can at least see a Brundle and Schumacher battle. Uh, yeah, at least we can see also, Schumacher. and also um, the engineer has been unnamed, but um, uh, we wish a speedy recovery to the McLaren engineer who was tested positive for COVID nineteen. We hope that he will make a quick and smooth recovery. Uh, but anyways, looks like the lads are getting ready. We've got 16 cars, and uh, which means one car will be knocked out of Q1. So it's going to be interesting. And while we're waiting for the lobby to load in, a prediction on the weather element. What would you say? Because no one can provide us a weather report right now because we're not in there yet. What would you guess? Element? Hello, back. <clears throat> Hello. <laughs> Sorry about that. I was uh, I was in game chat. <laughs> <laughs> well, I was just gonna say, 
<laughs> Obviously, um, we can't get a weather report right now because we haven't even began the qualifying session. What would you guess mm-hmm. the weather conditions to be for the qualifying <laughs> and the race? Oh, well, I don't know. Austria, last season in, in F3, when I used to race in F3 back in the day, uh, it, it was a uh, dry, dry quality and full wet uh, race, yeah. And then it went on to like. Uh, intermediates, then onto wet, uh, then onto complete dry, and then back onto intermediates. So this track. I think I commentated me, that race. I think you did. It, it was when. Uh, oh. Ah, oh, the day. Oh, we've lost Schumacher, and we haven't even gotten into the session. Oh, looks like it's looking a little bit cloudy. No. You know, getting into. I think we might be seeing some rain in the qualifying. All right, let's get this done. So, let me invite Schumacher back into the game. Definitely. Well, Schumacher, uh, we'll, we'll try and get him back in. But uh, we definitely have a good amount of cars on the grid today. So we've got both the Alfa Romeo, we've got one of the Mercedes, uh, we've got DRM Marco and Iox. That's both the Toro Rosso. Uh, one Haas. We've got one Haas, we've got one uh, Renault. Oh, yeah, actually, also, we, um, if no one's uh, heard the news. RSF1 Massa had to leave the league uh, due to personal reasons. Uh, there's no problems with uh, him within the league. Uh, he had to go under his own uh, you know, under his own accord. And uh, a big congratulations on him for receiving for getting his win last week in France. And Massa, if you're watching, uh, also known as Pie Eater, I wish you all the best for your future endeavours within league racing and your personal life as well. But if you need anything, mate. RSF One's always still here to give a, give you a good show, uh, and hopefully the F2 division will try and do some good racing for you in your absence. Well, yeah, in your absence exactly. uh, after, uh, after you leave, but also, it, it's surprising because uh, Mar- he uh, Morricon is not going to be able to race uh, until he had a bit of connection problem, so I think he's going to get that sorted, and then he'll be back on to racing in the Mercedes. Hashtag Jack Mark. Uh, Hashtag Jack Mark. <laughs> Hashtag Jack Mark. Yes, I definitely have to say, a person to keep an eye out for due to him being new is Andrew. Because Andrew is completely brand new to the F2 division. He, I think he's been in reserve for a while. Oh, DRM Marco, he went out for a, a lap and he's gone instantly back in. So I don't think he's happy with his setup. So that means the next car to watch out for is the Red Bull of VR. He, Looks like no, no, it's not. Yeah, the he had a great it's race last week, didn't he? VR, and, and then unfortunately he got a bit unlucky. But uh, I tell you what, the Red Bulls are looking pretty good now uh, with the uh, Andrew Alpha. Apparently, uh, well, Shane knows him from uh, last game or two, and he said that he was uh, very quick. So um, hopefully, we can see that. Uh, Josh, season four, uh, as well, Mercedes driver. Uh, I've been helping him quite a bit. Me, uh, me, and the. Uh, and the driver instructor of dyslexic, um, and hopefully he can he can do well for us uh, today. Well, um, hopefully all of them can do their best. I know that me and uh, them have to drive for the Mercedes F1 team, but um, obviously we do wish all the drivers to have a good fun race and uh, you know hopefully no problems. But here we go with Braver Container, who's now going around the second to last corner. Full front, well, we have to lift off just a little bit down to sixth gear, then you have to come down a little bit. Oh, oh he's still good, because if you accidentally exceed the track limit too oh, much, nice. you'll accidentally get invalidated. Well, one minute five, the baseline for today's qualifying session. This is actually the shortest Shane track doesn't beat him. in the... Oh, could Braver Container be looking really quick uh. today? Uh, I was going to say, okay. this is the shortest track in the F1 calendar. Is it? Here comes Ajax. Barely, uh, it, Ajax. Oh my god. Oh, just a little bit shy. Here comes Andrew. Of, uh, Can Andrew, on his debut, has an absolute cracker. That's going to be a good lap. <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh my god. He beats uh, Ajax by 5,000 seconds. Me. Have a meet. <laughs> <laughs> no one could be Braver Container! They're getting closer. They're getting closer and closer. Oh, Josh invalidated his lap and the next yeah. coming lap. So that oh, Mercs are going to have to go back around again. This track is actually really easy to accidentally invalidate comes VR, in the VR, first corner. B, Braver Container. No, he no, can't. He can't. P6. <laughs> I just love it. I love it. Brum was on it's the medium. It's a bit season validated. 
The man with the cash is on the move as well. We've got a couple of cars actually coming around the last corner. Here to comes go, Shane. Uh, Renault. And his lap again. He doesn't improve. He's about to oh, it doesn't now. improve. And neither does the, uh, I think that's the other Williams. Is there one Williams? No, there's no. Oh, it's just one. That was Brayton yeah. Container. But here we go, the man with the cash. He's now going to cross the line. P7, a 193. It looks like he had a little bit of a problem there within that lap. So oh. the man with the cash is going to go back around. Oh. But, crikey. Wait, don't you think, yeah? Because there's, no, there's no sky. Do you think they're all going out now because there could be rain? There That's is a possibility. Because if there's a chance of rain, one person's going to be the unlucky one to be knocked out in Q1. So yeah. we have to keep an eye out on them. Uh, VR is now pulling into the pits. Anyway, uh, yeah. Like Peppermint uh, is staying out. This track is the shortest one. Brother can train him. Uh, Brother can train him. Prove on his lap currently. <laughs> oh! Peppermint yeah, just missed him. out by just a little bit of time. But oh, here we go. Here we go um, then. Hey, to get further, braver, doesn't improve. One tenth off his lap. Oh, Shane, Shane's literally just twenty thousand seconds seven. shy off of beating Peppermeat. But let's here go on board with Peppermeat because he's activated his ERS to mode here comes, five. Here comes Toby. So sorry, sorry. Here comes Toby, and he's gonna get four. Oh, P four. Uh, Breslin has not come out yet. Schumacher. Actually, uh, we'll give Peppermint a moment. He's um, he's had a little bit of a uh, show time. Let's give Schumacher a little bit of a show now. Going into oh, the first corner. Actually, this track's very, very deceptive, this track, because if it's really sunny, you can barely mm. see going into turn one because that light really does reflect and hard oh. vision. Oh, purple first sector by Schumacher. So definitely already a quick one right off the bat. Uh, Brundle is on a lap on the medium compound tyre. Mm-hmm. I think Brundle just wants to uh, see how it goes with the medium, but anyway, what was I going to say? Yeah, uh, I've seen Schumacher in practice, and he's been looking pretty quick. He's been uh, doing some practice with uh, me and Rhombus and stuff like that, and he's been looking pretty pacey. So uh, let's see how he can do today. Can he beat Rave Container? He's got, oh, he's got Purple Sector 2 as well. So he's doing tremendously well. It looks like um, the Mercedes of Josh is coming back out for another run. Oh, oh man, with a cash of 151! Right under our nose! He, you know, he, he saw that door, he knocked Ooh. on it, and he set that lap. That was a very good lap. But here comes Schumacher, a 1-5 dead. A very good lap from Schumacher. Uh, he was well, on a we... very, very quick lap there. But it was purpling first sectors one after another, so very, very good work there. Let's go on board with RSF1 Brundle, who is now about to finish his flying lap, and then we'll go on board with Josh in the Mercedes. My so around the last corner, the Brundle goes. <laughs> if he does, that'll be incredible. He gets P11, no. a 1-6 dead. That's a good time on the mediums. Don't get me wrong, that's a very good time. Josh, probably second just, one. The, Oh, Josh is looking very quick. Could we be seeing a good day for the Mercedes team? So we'll keep an eye on Josh. He's got the back mark, not back marker, the slow car of back the mark. current session leader. <laughs> back I'm mark. Used to, I'm used to see, when, I'm used to, when I see like, cars going slow on the track, I'm used to like, you know, seeing them just going by them. But here we go. Let's keep on board with Josh because he's already gone for what's a purple going on? first sector. What's going on there? Oh, a uh, second purple sector. What, so wait, wait, what's going on with that Torosso? And, and that, I'm with the cash and the, the Toro Rosso, I don't know. Could there be a anyway. collision maybe between the Toro Rosso and the man with the cash? Here comes Josh. Oh, a little bit wide there around the last corner, but he's still good. Oh. And Josh sets P1. One thousandth of a second faster than Schumacher. It's Mercedes on pole. Come oh, on, that's a good one. Yes, lap. hashtag Jack Mac. Hashtag Jack <laughs> Mac. Come on. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> Jesus. You um, couldn't tell me I'm so a Mercedes driver, could you? <laughs> VR has put himself up into P4 in the Red Bull. So very, very oh. good work there from VR. Uh, so we'll go over the top five as it is. Josh, season four, or is like, we'll call him season four, me and Bodder, just you know, because he has so four. Uh, Josh is currently P1 in the Mercedes, Schumacher P2, uh, just one thousandth of a second shy off the Merc. Uh, Mamma Cash P3 with a 151. Uh, VR46 in the. Oh, never mind. Shane just split out the pair of them. One thousandth oh, of a second Shane's faster than a man with a cash. 
So even with those worn softs, he went faster than the man with the cash. So Shane Come is on. currently P3. Sets oh, the man with the cash down to P4. Oh, has there been an incident He's with Bresner? Oh, Brazina. That was close. Well, we have luckily, a lot of people it's... on laps currently. We have a, a racer. We have Jay Slee, the two McLarens. Uh, Brazina was on one, but he's had to back out, I think, because, yeah, he's got from damage. You cannot carry on with that. Uh, who else? Who else? Who else? So, it looks like... Actually, we'll go on board with Jay Slee, because it looks like he's the next car that's, like, ready to finish a lap. <laughs> oh, no, we've got a... Nope, that's a Toro Rosso beginning his flying lap. Oh, so, we'll stay on board with Jay, Jay Slee, Slee. Round the last corner. In. Can McLaren can go, do good to beat Mercedes? Oh. No, he can't. He gets P6, though. Very good drive there for McLaren. But uh, they've got their Shane's one still going. Day, Shane is still seriously setting those softs out? <gasps> oh, my God. What the hell is he doing? Here we go, man. A girl racer. What can he do? Ted. E10. Uh, so Andrew it Ralph looks like the McLaren are trying Sainz to do... Uh, who's on their outlap, sorry? Uh, Rapid Praise is about to finish this, and so is uh, Andrew Ralph. Andrew Ralph is right ahead of the uh, Ferrari. Let's go on board him. with the rookie of F2. To the first corner, he's looking very, very good. Um, obviously, he has got previously gracing experience, but he is currently uh, on his debut in RSF1. Uh, but getting a full time Red Bull seat, uh, filling in for oh. WR Stretch. Oh, it's a little bit wide coming out of. Uh, I think that's turn three. Mm -hmm. But he's still doing good. Um, turn two, that oh, is. Oh, he's, he's, he's backed off the lap. Well, we'll watch Rapid Sprays then. But, uh, anyways, going on to the subject quickly on Andrew. Uh, WR Stretch obviously has been moved to the F3 division, uh, which means Andrew has is filling now filling in for the vacant Red Bull driver. Uh, he's now taking the full time seat. Uh, do you feel with the with Andrew now taking the wheel Ooh, in that Rapid Red Bull? Praise. Do you think it? Could, Always oh, at a little bit of a close Perhaps moment like there, but two. do you feel that Andrew could? Uh, oh no! no! Rapid Sprays was on for a good lap, and he invalidated. We'll have to see what he was going to do, sanctus. anyways. <laughs> he was going to be top of the table, but that lap was invalid. Oh, ho, ho. You just can't but finish your real sentence, can you, Primus? <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Can't finish your sentence. <laughs> no, but uh, poor Rapid Sprays was on a, for a one four nine. That was going to be the fastest lap of the session. That's definitely going to be horrible for him because that was actually a stellar lap. All right, very quickly. Oh, uh, let me just let me just say something because he, he started to cry in the chat now. Well done, brother container. <laughs> well done. <laughs> he just that said was actually that. a very lap from Raven. Give, uh, give us some credit, yeah? I'm proud of myself for now. <laughs> well, that was a good lap regardless. Actually, he just purpled the second sector oh again! My oh my god, he's not going to have enough, en enough ERS to go, though. He's going for it nonetheless. This time he got a very good run into the second to last corner. Can Rapid Sprays make up for that lap that he just lost? Oh, oh he can! A 1-5-1, and with low ERS and fuel, with slightly worn tyres, that's a good lap. Ioks gets 14th. Andrew goes back Ooh, into the pits. Oh, very good for Ioks. Anyway, what were you going to say? However, um, say, going back on to the subject of um, Andrew, uh, he will be taking in, uh, you know, the vacant space for... Uh, I'm sorry, but Brazina just got purple sector 2 oh, now. Oh, I just saw... I just, I just had a little peek at the mini map and I saw we'll have to come back to Andrew in just a brief time in the you know the transition between Q1 and Q2. We'll have to finish yeah, off of these guys because each one of them is constantly purpling sector after sector. Can Bresner put himself up into the top of the table? Oh. He can! A 147! Oh that was a very good lap by the Alpha Drop. Oh! Oh, you, you've left? I've been kicked out. Oh, so it's a good race, so let me invite you back. Apparently, I need to be signed into Xbox Live, but the stream's still fine. I don't, I don't, I don't know. Right, let me just invite a girl race as well. Um, who's the other commentator who just said I'm too good? What do you mean, who's the other commentator? Oh, you know what, man? I'm never going to give you a good, a good thing anymore. If you're going to be saying who's the other commentator, you should know by now. I don't know. Are you all right? <laughs> um, 
Uh, just joining back in. Uh, okay. Looks like we could be good. Hopefully, don't have that silent glitch. You know where the cars will be quiet. Hopefully, we won't. Have yeah, that. just pre is that happy? Just press the Xbox button and then come back on the game. Should be fine. Oh, everything's fine. Uh, luckily, Shane's the coming back uh, on Shane's coming out again. Toby's joined. There we go. Yeah. Anyway, VR got himself seconds while you left. Um, oh, very good lap. VR. One four nine. And the girl, uh, Andrew Ralph is now coming out as well. But anyway, uh, we have also, also we have someone uh, who we haven't seen in a while uh, racing. Um, Prime Minister, that is Seal. He just put come on Shane, uh, ran up for the win. Uh, Seal, I think, has oh. got some problems with his wheel, um, and so for that reason, he can't race for now. But hopefully, he can get it sorted out. Is that right, Seal? If you could hear me or something, just <laughs> text me. We hope that you, we'll see you back on the track uh, very soon, Seal. What's happening? Um, What's that to bits he's having connection issues because he keeps on joining and leaving the session? <sighs> it could Ooh. also be the Codemaster servers because it looks like it's not... Because it happened to me as well. I mean, like, the stream's still up. It's still working. Uh, mm. But the game had kicked me out of the lobby. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm back in. I'm watching everything. But it looks like it might be problems with the game servers. So we probably might have to expect a few bugs within the qualifying session and the race. But let's go on board with Andrew now, who is now getting ready to do another lap, who is currently sitting in P16. Brundle retires in P11 after feeling like that could be, you know, that could be it. But uh, let's have a little look at Andrew. I don't want to put too much pressure on him. You know, it's his debut race. I'm just hoping he can do his best. Go around into turn three. Looking Fancy. very, very good there from the Red Bull. How's the chat looking, by the way? Uh, pretty good. We have Seal saying, my wheel broke, then I got a new one, and that didn't work. <laughs> That's a big oof. Are you getting, are you, have you ordered a new one? When, it, when is it arriving? We need you on the track, man. He used, uh, I miss you. He used to be my, my uh, teammate last season for the last two races. Um, hopefully we can get back into into the track. But anyway, Andrew Alpha. Andrew's purple. just purpled the second sector. That is that he's just done the best so he's second not sector. Up for so. me. He hasn't popped up for me. He's doing oh, very, God, very well. Again. Here we go then. Andrew Alpha. Andrew oh, Alpha. Lovely run. That's lovely. That is absolutely your Oh, P6! That is great! That is a great lap! I give a race for the map, that says Toby, so Pepper Beat, Braver Container, also, he's on a lap. So it looks like Braver Container, who was sitting on pole for Q1, is now actually in danger of being knocked out in Q1. We have to wait and see if any of these three, Tabitzi, Agreeable, or Pepper Meat, invalidate. At any point, Agreeable has actually purpled the first sector. If any of these three invalidate their lap, it is game over. I can say something. Oh, go ahead. I, I'm gonna, I'm gonna say this just because of bother. These guys are in the danger zone. <laughs> the danger zone. Oh, is that <gasps> a red the cash? Side of the track. Oh. A lap of man with the cash. Oh, I didn't even notice that one four eight. A very good lap from the man with the cash. The man of many nicknames. Agreeable racer. He purpled the first sector, but he didn't purple the second. Going into the final corner, can he get himself out of P16? We will find out momentarily. He can. Ooh. P11. Now to bits. He's in the danger zone. Pepper meat. Going down the straight. Ooh. P3. P3 rolls of Brundle could be out here. Still a lap. Brundle could be out here. Brundle could be out. Braver Container, no! Braver Container lagged out the session. To, no, to bits he's out. To bits he's out of the session. He invalidated his lap. To bits he will be out of Q1. Braver Container, after disconnecting just a few corners shy of maybe improving, he stays safe. <gasps> <sighs> Whew, sorry, little wife. Why can I not invite people? This. Oh my god, between code masters and this, this is horrid. I just got signed out. Oh, that's a big oof. Done. So now you're not in the lobby anymore? I am, but he isn't. Oh. I thought you meant you got signed out. Um, oh yeah, that is Q1 for the classifications. Uh, I will let Element go over the top three. 
and I'll go over the uh, just over one more time of the driver eliminated. So, Element, take it away. Give me a second, bud. Just inviting Brave Container. Oh, he's joined anyway. For okay, right, and here we go. Uh, we're, Top three. We have to wait for the uh, the board to come back up, but uh, yeah, I'll let you go over that. I'll invite I'll Toby to the party just to get him ready. Yeah, we'll get we'll get Mr. T in, considering he was unfortunate enough to invalidate. But uh, do you want me to go over the top three, or would you like to? The top three we have. Third, we have the racing point of Pepper Meat. In second, we have the racing point of Mam with the catch. And pole, we have Tomic Brazina in the Alfa Romeo. My God, racing and, point. And uh, unfortunately, on third. Nice. being. Yeah, it's very good uh, from Racing Point. And being knocked out in Q1 is Toby. So it's yeah. going to start from the very back of the grid for the race start. So it's not very ideal for him. <sighs> we, have we had a weather report, by the way, for the race? Because nope. it's looking overcast, but no, no news It's not letting me invite... It's, it's just not coming up with Toby's big gamer tag. So I can't really do anything. Uh, well, the party's open, so if uh, Toby's got the streaming channel, uh, sorry, yeah. not a streaming account added, he can just join through. So, yeah. uh, Mr. T, if you're watching this, the party is open for you. Uh, we'd like to have a, an interview. That why did he? Uh, he been a bad boy. <laughs> <laughs> he been naughty. No, we're joking. We'd like to just have a quick chat of you if you'd like to. If you don't want to, uh -huh. that is fair yeah, play. You're not for so the first car onto the track is yet again Iox. He is the early riser for today in the race. Mm -hmm. No, oh, not race them. Don't worry, about it, your lap is uh, your car's still in there, so you can just uh, take over it and you'll be fine. You'll be good to go. Oh, I am. I'm generally thinking Iox. that there could be rain coming because people are coming out so early. Right then. But mediums, mediums are on Iox. Um, so uh, hello, Mr. T. Make sure you've got your audio included in the party. Hopefully, uh, his mic's working. Uh, hello? Element, can you hear me? Uh, suddenly, both of the guys have gone quiet. Uh, apologies, ladies and gents. We'll be sorting this out momentarily. Um, so, Mr. T, uh, if you've got your audio included and your microphone is working, uh, I'll wait for you to get on to have a nice word. Uh, meanwhile, while we wait for Element and Mr. T to come back, um, we will be going over Ajax, going around to Turn 1. You've got to be very careful not to clip too much of the inside. You can validate there. And then when you're catching the curb coming out of turn one, if you get too much of that curb, you will invalidate. Going into turn three, here is where the famous collision between Lewis Hamilton and Rosberg happened back in the 2016 season. Uh, and uh, a load of people were very concerned about the, that crash because uh, in the end it costed Rosberg a podium and uh, Lewis Hamilton came away with the race win. Uh, yeah, so coming around down into the well, coming through to the final part of the second sector. Uh, looks like Mr. T's gone. Oh, we lost both of them. Well, Iokes, he's still looking very, very good going into the second to last corner. Still very good, very good lap. Yep. Last corner he goes. Can he do better than the current uh, times that was set? A 1.58 on on the hot medium tyre. A 5.8 is good. That's a second shy of the fastest um, soft compound tyre time set. Uh, then you got VR setting a 1.58. Uh, Josh setting a 1.59 in the Mercedes. So now we just have to wait for the rest. Jane, he invalidated his lap time, but it looks of it, he has to do another lap. Uh, it looks like Brundle and Peppermy are going. Oh no, sorry, no, Brundle is going for soft. Maybe, just maybe, Brundle knows something we don't, lads. Currently, right now, it is very quiet in the virtual comms box because uh, Mr. T and Element have 
disappeared so we are definitely absent those drivers uh, well uh, element and mr t but in the meantime you have got me a 152 the fastest time set in q2 by a ferrari of ourself on brundle let's go have a look at the other guys so we got Renault of Shane looks like he's coming to make a charge around the last corner. Shane invalidated again! A second lap with no time. However, Andrew sets a 159. Very good lap from Andrew. We're losing people left, right, and centre here. Hmm. Apologies for this inconvenience, guys. Um, looks like... Wait, everyone's leaving the lobby. I've not called a restart. I've not called a restart, but everyone's now leaving the lobby. We're in Q2. I mean... If it was my decision, I'd at least let Q3 get underway, get the top 10 done, then do the restart, but... Everyone's now leaving. Uh, uh, apologies, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, I did not call the restart the re uh, of the lobby. It was not called by me. Uh, it looks like it was made by someone else. So, uh, I really don't know what to do now, because no one's advised me of a lobby restart. And now I'm left here wondering what's going on. Because we're in Q2. I mean, everyone's now gone, and I've received no information at the current moment. All right, you have to bear with us, ladies and gents. Uh, Element Snow, if you can hear me, I need an invite to your party. Right, uh, right uh, ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to have to go talk to someone because clearly a decision was made. Uh, I didn't make it. I it, Everyone was lagging out, so I was going to probably do a restart after Q3 had done. And um, this is definitely a bit of a predicament. So I'm going to end the stream now. And uh, we will come back to you uh, very soon, hopefully.